guys now we're ready to do the wet on dry project so for this we're going to be doing a mountain range scene um, and we're going to be building up the color as we go down so i'm going to use two colors for this i'm going to start with an opera rose and then i'm going to add more prussian blue until we get to the blue base at the bottom we'll need each layer to dry before we add the next one um, so i'm going to use a hairdryer to speed it up um, but if you don't have one at home or you don't want to do that you can just let it dry and come back to it once it's dry so we're going to start with a light value mix of opera rose um, and I'm just going to put it across the top here. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to layer over it with other colours. Make sure you get it right up in the corners there, as those are the bits of paper that tend to dry out the fastest. All right then, now we're ready for the hairdryer. All right, now that's nice and dry, for the next layer we're going to add a little bit of Prussian blue to the opera rose. Okay, and then as we create the mountain, we're going to start in one corner and then pull down in a diagonal line. Get the first stroke in and then just smooth that over with some water. And then we're going to go back in and add some little treetops, just using the tip of your brush to create little triangles. And then fill that in. And pull the finish line a bit lower than the last time. All right then, perfect. Now we're ready for the hairdryer again. All right, so for the third layer, we're going to add more Prussian blue, and then we're going to do a diagonal line coming the other way. So we create a sort of zigzag with the mountain lines. For this colour, we're still looking at something that's more pink than blue. So we start from the other side and then pull across like that. Just going back and adding in some more detail there, I think it looks a bit flat. All right then, ready for the hairdryer again. Okay, that's all dry, so now for the next layer we're going to add more Prussian blue. We're going to aim for a middle purpley tone like that. Just going to mix up a bit more. Okay, we're good to go. So this time we're going to go again in the opposite diagonal way. So we're going to go up like that. You see I'm working quite quickly to make sure that it doesn't start to dry at the edges before we're adding the next bit.
All right, back to the hairdryer. All right, this time we're going to have more blue than pink in the mixture. All right, almost done, back to the hairdryer. All right, and for the final foreground one, we're going to use just Prussian blue. You'll need quite a dark value for this to make sure that you can see it over the other layers. You can definitely have fun with these strokes and just allow your brush to go any which way it feels like. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, there we go. What I'm going to do is dry this last layer off with the hairdryer and then we can peel the tape off and see what it looks like. Okay, that's nice and dry. Now we're going to peel the tape off. And the best way to do this is instead of pulling it up, is to pull it away on a diagonal. So, I don't know if you can see this. Like that. And that just stops it ripping the paper up as it comes up. It's such a satisfying feeling getting the tape up at the end. There we go. And there's the finished piece.